young, vulnerable, and overlooked. I was blind to the lack of support and abuse that occurred at the time. Seconds felt like hours under my father's watch. His apartment felt as barren as an old antique shop. A step inside would stir a cloud of settled dust into the air, reflecting in the forbidden outdoor light. I brought along my reused flimsy folder with loose doodled on paper sandwiched in the middle, as well as a few loose bank pens in order to distract myself from the inhospitable environment. Eventually, my folder began to get heavier. In middle school, I upgraded my folder for a blue cardboard covered sketchbook with papers neatly clamped within a spiral, alongside my pouch of Sharpies, pencils, and ballpoint pens. I would often sketch while being left unattended at high top bars, watching smokers play pool in a cloudy low lit room. I ended up babysitting my dad more than he watched me, being left on my own to figure out the right time to head back home. A bar stool facing a smoke covered painting wasn't the same as a bench in front of a masterpiece displayed at a museum. By high school, I was eager to open up the bottle of suppressed memories that had built up over the years. I sorted through untouched stacks of dust covered plastic bins, flipping through the worn yellow pages photo after photo. Flashbacks of forgotten times instantly interrupted my thoughts. I began to translate abstract feelings on paper with vivid colors and expressive brush strokes. The more I became encompassed in the Work, the more I allowed myself to become emotionally vulnerable. Those who viewed my lifelike chart portraits were able to vicariously experience the emotions I felt when dealing with my childhood trauma. Art has become a way for me to translate my ineffable feelings, creating a gateway between my thoughts and the viewer. Through my art, viewers can see their lives through mine. I want to always be creating art. I now question every event taking place around me, trying to find its true underlying meaning. I look forward to the day when I can realize my dream of my flimsy childhood folder having turned into a professional working studio.